The whole of humanity is fed from six inches of soil. We need to, to improve our soils and make them better than they've been. It's very important to work together as part of the, the wider community. We all bring something to the table. I'm a third generational farmer. We're farming a thousand acres, utilising grass for dairy cows and their beef offspring, finishing all to fat and veal vegetables as well into the rotation for sustainability going forward. We try to make the most of our natural capital, utilising grass as much as possible, but also utilising vegetables, namely savoy cabbages at the moment. The cabbage is planted, that's harvested through the winter, and then the residuals that is left behind, cabbages that are too big or too small, we can then utilise by grazing cattle. We are aiming at a sustainable and closed loop system. I'm part of a consortium as part of the lottery funded Farm Net Zero project, which is a five year project. My role is to work with the demonstration farms, farmers who um, have got a whole range of different questions and challenges and to work with them collaboratively to get to net zero, to look at their farming systems, what's going well and where they're storing carbon and opportunities to make that business more viable and also to start moving towards reduced carbon emissions. Some of the projects we've done for Farm Net Zero, growing cover crops post field vegetables to see the differences between carbon sequestration in different cover crops. We're looking at reducing antibiotic usage in our animals. One way we're doing that is we're actually incorporating uh, good bacteria within our beds and also the resulting waste from that being utilised into the soil to improve soil health as well. The room is taken up by good bacteria the bad bacteria know that they can't replicate and then they die. So basically we swamp the area with good bacteria to keep animals healthy. We've used it probably seven years now and wouldn't go back. We also are trialling mixed species swords for the dairy herd, uh, utilising chicory, plantain and such to improve soils again. But we're also monitoring to see if it affects rumination within the cow and milk composition. Research and development is really important. Very few farmers actually spend time or money researching and developing something, where I think is absolutely key to business growth. Farm Net Zero with its soil testing and analysis that they've done is giving us a real clear picture and, and then we can set goals where we can deliver it for our business and for other farms to learn from as well. Working alongside Andrew and Claire and supporting them in the, the work that they do, we can support them by looking at the soil health, soil carbon, run the farm carbon calculator at each juncture as far as the decision making is concerned and sort of identify those really exciting practices, the key performance indicators as far as animal production and animal growth rates. We've de-risked the business by it being a low cost dairy for 20 odd years now, keeping our costs low and within our control. We might not have the highest output per cow, but we just try to be a really resilient business that can take and withstand volatility. We run a fish and chip business as well and burgers. We utilise beef from our dairy herd and we actually sell them as burgers in the shop. And my daughter's partner has a slaughterhouse. So it goes to the closest slaughterhouse and literally it goes to a mile and a half from home to our shop. It's making the best of what you've got. I feel that it's a part of my DNA and my wife's DNA to help people understand the future and where food comes from. Community-wise, um, my wife Claire and myself are very heavily involved. Um, we host the Kingfisher Farm Awards that involves us having between six and 700 children over four days. And we try to link the agriculture, farming and wildlife and show how they work together. It's all about networks and community. The more people you know, the easier life becomes. I think we find solutions by asking questions for individual farmers. They have a business to run, they can't achieve net zero ambitions if they haven't got a business. So with any challenge, with any innovation, take it small, take it stepwise, and ask questions to your neighbours, your peers. It takes a long time for soil to adapt, for the biodiversity to adapt. 
So it's incremental steps. We've built a huge international network of, of friends and acquaintances. It's just about growing as a person, but also helping other people grow as people. We're working to improve our soils because I want to really make sure our soils are in a better place than they were when I took over. In five years' time, I want to have healthier soils, which then leads to healthier livestock, healthier food production, and a healthier business as well.